Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and welcome to the preview between Cultural Leonesa and Barcelona. It is round of 32 in the new Copa del Rey season. The first match of the Spanish Cup is right here and we are going to be previewing the game between Barcelona and their third tier Spanish opponents. We've got that covered right here. And after doing many, many videos about the biggest game in world football, El Clasico was a sensational affair for us. It really, really was. This seems like a bit of a step down in some ways. Watched around the world, El Clasico, by millions and millions of people in many, many different countries. But I think here, to be honest, even though we're playing a third-tier opponent, there's a lot of us that are very, very excited. And the reason for that is we're hoping to see some fringe players get their final, final opportunity. At last, we might see some of those guys and hopefully some Barca B prospect that we've certainly been keeping an eye on and we want to see them as often as we possibly can. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. Who is going to get their chance, who deserves that chance, and what team is Ernesto Valverde going to play tomorrow? All of that and more coming up. But our match against Cultural Leonesa will be kicking off at 9.30 local time, which is really, really late in Spain for me. That's a kickoff time, you know, that in the early rounds of the Copa del Rey, that doesn't really make a lot of sense for me. Very, very late for people to go and watch it. Midweek, it's not ideal. And of course, you guys have given your predictions, as always, fantastic. So many of you getting involved in the community section. And it's safe to say that you are expecting a very, very big win tomorrow night against this lower league opposition, with the vast majority of you nearly 70 percent going for a Barcelona win by four plus goals. And I would certainly have to agree with that. We should have a pretty comfortable night, provided that we play the right team tomorrow, the right motivation. And also, of course, the one concern that I do have with these lower league games is often the pitch, which isn't always up to the standard at these lower league stadiums. It has proved problematic over the past. But saying that, actually, Cultural Leonesa's stadium is actually a relatively new one. It was built just 17 years ago in 2001. So hopefully they wouldn't be any problems at all with the pitch it might actually be quite nice and that would really invite some good play a lot of goals and I would imagine a very very comfortable win indeed their stadium holds 13,000 spectators in total and interestingly enough their record attendance came back in May of last year and who did it come against? A Barcelona team but it was Barcelona B that was their record attendance and speaking of that exact fact although Cultural Leonesa are now in the Spanish third tier in the Segunda B division they were actually battling it out in the second tier until their relegation from Segunda last season. They actually went down alongside Barcelona B. They were relegated and they have actually started this season very, very brightly. They're currently lying in fourth position in the Segunda B Group 1 ahead of the likes of Real Madrid Castilla, Atletico Madrid B and they're actually the second highest scorers in their entire division. So they are a pretty good team in their own right. But having said all that though, regardless of Valverde's team selection, regardless of the pitch, we would expect a big win here. We're going to be extremely confident. A number of reasons, really, why we feel like that right now. Obviously, all things considered, we should be beating a team from the third division, whatever happens. But when you look at our recent form, there is nothing right now that is going to stop us. We are on fire. We're so, so confident. And even when you consider our recent history in this competition, that gives us even more belief. We are the most successful team in the history of the Copa del Rey. And we're coming, of course, off the back of our fourth successive title last year. So for sure, the Copa confidence going into this one. It's going to be flowing. And of course, one thing that you do have to remember with these Copa del Rey ties, you've got to remember it's a two-legged tie. There's going to be two legs here. This is the first one away from home. We'll have the second one, of course, coming back at the camp now. And this will be the last year that the round of 32 will be a two-legged tie. After this year in the Copa del Rey, it will finally be a one-off match, which I think, to be honest, we would all prefer and does make a lot of sense. And the chances are, even if we don't win tomorrow, even if there is a big upset result, we will probably turn it around at the camp now and it should all be fine. And for that exact reason really, I'm really, really hoping to see a lot of rotation tomorrow. Valverde for me has got to change around the team. He's got to give a bit of freshness to it. We've got a lot of people in there waiting for their chance and I really hope tomorrow that we are going to see those players. And right now, I do feel like Valverde is going to do exactly that. I feel like for a while now, he's had this game in his mind. He's going to give a few players the chance that they deserve and I cannot wait to see what they can do, the impression that they give and that kind
competition for places in this team right now is so, so strong and might get stronger. Because I think in general, when you're talking about giving players opportunities, not only from the first team, but also from the B team, it is so, so important right now that they get those chances and get that minutes. Because it is a long season. We are going to need our full squad right the way through. We're going to play 50, 60 games this season. You're going to need everybody pulling in the same direction. And everybody, like I said at the start of the season, they need to believe they've got a place in this team. They need to believe that they've got a chance if they work hard in training, if they play well in the matches, when they're coming on as a sub, they're making an impact. They've got to believe then that's going to result in them getting more time on the pitch and more influence in this team. And that brings everybody together. Everybody together working really, really hard. And that in itself provides you with a really, really healthy squad. And without further ado, we will now move on to Ernesto Valverde's squad selection to face Leonesa tomorrow night. And so, Nelson Semedo, Denis Suarez, Arthur, Dembele, Rafinha, Jasper Sillison, Malcolm, Longley, Sampa, Munir, Sergio Roberto, Arturo Vidal, Alenia, Miranda, Puch, Inaki Pena, George Cuenca and Chumi make up there the squad that is going to play tomorrow and I'm really really excited about this and I'm actually going to take you through player by player who I would start because I want to explain my reasons why because I think there's players here who deserve to play and I still think there's players in that squad there that need a bit of a rest that don't really need to play this game and we could still win without them so we're going to start in goal of course with Jasper Sillison he's played no minutes at all whatsoever this season and he's such a great guy such a great professional and also an outstanding player. This here is a brilliant goalkeeper who deserves more minutes. And I think any minutes at all that you can give him, you want to do that. So for me, Sillison undoubtedly tomorrow has to get the full 90 minutes. And then left back, Miranda has got to get it for me. Miranda has to play at left back simply because if Jordi Alba gets injured, he's the man who's going to play there. And if he's going to play there, he needs readying. He needs some minutes with the first team. He needs integrating into the first team lineup. And this gives him that chance. It gives him experience and it gives him confidence so for me Miranda has to start at left back at right back I personally go with Nelson Semedo there's not really an abundance of options there's not a lot of guys in Barcelona B who can step up right now and play that role and I think Sergio Roberto has been in there for a few games and I think Semedo deserves to be back in the team because before he's very very confident and you don't want to break that confidence so I'd keep him in the team here give him a game at right back just to get his confidence back up and keep that game momentum going again at centre back is really interesting Interesting. And I've got two Barcelona B players here at centre-back. And the reason for that is we are so, so thin on the ground at centre-back. And I think Pique and Longley have both been brilliant lately, especially Clermont Longley. But at the same time, you don't want to overplay them. You don't want to risk them in this kind of game. You don't want them to get up an injury because that's really not what we need. So I would personally go with Chumi and I would go with Cuenca. I really, really like what I've seen so far at Cuenca. He's looked really good, really assured when he's played for the first team in these kind of games. And Chumi's been included for a several squad lists now. He hasn't yet played in those games that he's been chosen for but at the same time if he's in that squad list he has a chance of playing and here we should give him some minutes to get him that game ready. Now into midfield where I think there are an abundance of options and I think we'll certainly see some substitutes in this area because there's so many different players here who can play but I would personally start Arturo Vidal at the base of that midfield simply because that guy deserves minutes. He deserves a start, he deserves some proper time with Barcelona, he's been coming off the bench for the last few minutes for several games and making a real real impact so here give him what he deserves give him some more time to integrate him into this team because as the season goes on I think Arturo Vidal is going to be a really really big part of the squad and a massive help for us in centre midfield I would then go with Carlos Alenia somebody I think actually was very unlucky to get injured when he did he isn't that long coming back he's been playing for Barcelona B recently but he is registered technically as a Barcelona first team player as such he was going to be in the first team squad until he got that injury it was badly timed he deserves a game now to show what he can do in that midfield. So much quality, so much potential. And when he plays, I really, really do enjoy his style of play. The style of midfielder that he is, I think, could be a big, big hit in this Barcelona team. And I would start him alongside Ricky Puig. And the reason for that is, we saw on tour, this man is different class. Really, he's an outstanding prospect, a brilliant young player. And I think every chance you've got to give him some minutes with the first team, you've got to take it. He's got the talent, he's got the potential. Put him in there and see what he can do. Give him those minutes because, boy, this boy showed in the summer. He's got what it takes. So let's see it. 
Let's let's see it. Into the front three now, and I would go with Denny Suarez from the left-hand side. Maybe you could play him in midfield, but like I said, there's so many options in that midfield. He's also very unlucky in the midfield to miss out the likes of Samper, players like that, who could easily play in that midfield. I think Arthur definitely needs a rest. There's no need for him to play in this game. The same for Sergio Roberto. But out on that left-hand side, I'd go with Denny Suarez simply because he's hardly played too. He's hardly played. He's a member of the first-team squad. He does have talent. You know, not everybody likes him, but I think Denny Suarez certainly deserves a start here. Here to show what he can do from that left-hand side. He can play in midfield, he can play as part of that front three, and also, if we need to then, he can form part of that left midfield role where he's very, very used to playing. And then over on the right-hand side, you guys have been waiting for it, I've been waiting for it, I think everybody has, including the man himself, Malcolm, deserves a start and he deserves some minutes. He's only played 24 minutes so far in a Barcelona shirt. We've got to see him start here, surely. He's got to send out a message to Valverde about why he hasn't been playing, and it starts right here against Leonesa. I hope Malcolm plays, I hope he starts, I hope he plays a great majority of the game, and most importantly, I really, really hope that he impresses. And then finally, taking up that striking role, I would go with Munir El Haddadi, who's been our substitute, of course, for Luis Suarez this season, and I think he just deserves a game from the start, playing up top. He is a player that very much thrives on confidence. He has not a great lead of time. He did get a goal, of course, against Athletic, which will have helped him, and I think we can see him from the start here, see what he can do. And I think that team overall, if you look at it when it's all shaped up, all in stone here, the 11 players that are out there, I think certainly they can make an impact. You've got a pretty solid defence there. I think there's players with a lot of talent, maybe not a lot of experience, but I think they've got a lot of talent there. Semedo will be a very welcome addition to that back line. I think that midfield looks really, really strong. You've got Vidal here, who can be the defensive sort of structure, really get about the pitch, box to box. And then you've got Puch and Alenia, two really creative players, so comfortable on the ball, and I think they can be really impressive. Then you've got Denny Suarez, who will play here from the left-hand side, who can get forward, but he can also drop in here and help out with a bit of midfield control. Malcolm could maybe sometimes forward too, with Munir up front. Both of them, you know, very much forward players, and I think they can have a real impact impact against this lower league team and I think that team there is more than good enough to get the job done. I wouldn't risk the likes of Dembele. I don't think he really needs to be playing in a game like this. Obviously he needs confidence but I think really he doesn't need to be dropping down to this kind of game. I'd rather see him play in the league and in the Champions League games. So leave your thoughts down below guys. What do you think the team should be tomorrow? I'm sure some of you will agree with my team, some of you won't. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and my match prediction for this game is going to be Barcelona 4, Cult Cultural Leonesa 1. That's the score that I'm going to go with 4-1. And if that happened, of course, that would be less than we beat Real Madrid by. So technically, Cultural Leonesa, if that happens, better than Real Madrid. I'll leave you with that, guys. You can mull that over, and I will see you tomorrow for the match review. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. Oh,